Lee Marvin was a Hollywood actor who was known for his distinctive voice and premature white hair. He was born in New York City on February 19, 1924 to upper middle class parents. His father Lamont was an advertising executive and his mother Courtney was a fashion writer. Lee had one brother Robert who was a year and a half older. The family started out in a small apartment in New York City but eventually moved to Woodstock, New York. Marvin studied the violin when he was young, but he really enjoyed hunting various wildlife when he was a teenager. He attended several different boarding schools due to what was described as bad behavior. His last school he attended was St. Leo College Preparatory School in St. Leo, Florida. He left school at the age of 18 to enlist in the United States Marine Corps on August 12, 1942. Marvin served as a member of the I Company, 3rd Battalion, 24th Marines, 4th Marine Division. He was involved in numerous beach landings in the Pacific during World War II. On June 18, 1944, he was wounded in action during the Battle of Saipan. Most of his company were casualties. He was hit by machine gun fire in the buttocks, which severed his sciatic nerve, and then he was hit again in the foot by a sniper. He spent the next year in naval hospitals receiving medical treatment. As a result of his war experiences, he would suffer the rest of his life both physically and mentally. In 1945, he was discharged from the service. Some of the decorations that he was awarded include the Purple Heart, the Presidential Unit Citation, the American Campaign Medal, and the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, the World War II Victory Medal, and the Combat Action Ribbon. After he was discharged, he worked as a plumber's assistant at a local community theater in upstate New York. He was asked to replace an actor who had fallen ill during rehearsals. From this experience, he caught the acting bug, and he got hired with the company for $7 a week. He then moved to Greenwich Village and used the GI Bill to study at the American Theater Wing. Marvin first appeared on stage, and then he began appearing in television shows like Escape the Big Story and Treasury Men in Action. In February of 1951, he made it to Broadway with a small role in Billy Budd. 1951 became an even bigger year when he made his film debut in You're in the Navy Now. This movie also marked the debut of Charles Bronson and Jack Warden. The film project was filmed in Hollywood, and Marvin decided to stay in California. That same year, he married Betty Ebeling in February, and during their 16 year of marriage, they would have four kids together, Christopher, Courtney, Cynthia, and Claudia. Their marriage would end in divorce in 1967. During their marriage, Lee starred in a detective series called M Squad from 1957 to 1960. He was the leading man who played a tough police lieutenant. He received the role after guest starring in a television series called Dragnet in an episode in which he played the serial killer. M Squad was a really big breakout role and it established him as a major actor. This led to him appearing in many different television shows. In 1961, Marvin returned to feature films with a prominent role in the Comancheros with John Wayne. The next year, in 1962, he would again appear in another film with John Wayne and also Jimmy Stewart, and it was directed by John Ford. The name of that film was The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. In 1963, Ford called on him once again to appear in Donovan's Reef starring John Wayne. At the same time, he continued to be a guest star on various television shows like The Virginian. In 1965, he separated from his wife, Betty, and then met a nightclub singer named Michelle Triola. They never married, but she was his live-in girlfriend, and she legally changed her last name to Marvin. While he was living with Michelle and still married to Betty, he won the 1966 Academy Award for the Best Actor in the offbeat western Cat Ballou starring Jane Fonda. In 1967, he finally divorced his wife, Betty and that was the same year that he starred in a highly successful film called The Dirty Dozen. This was a World War II movie in which he and his team had to perform an almost impossible mission. Marvin was the commander of the group, which also starred Charles Bronson, Jim Brown, Telly Savalas, Donald Sutherland, and John Cassavetes. He went on to star in several movies, including 1969's Paint Your Wagon, starring Clint Eastwood. 
Despite his limited singing ability and lack of confidence, he did sing in that film and had a hit song with Wandering Star. By this time, he was one of Hollywood's highest paid actors at $1 million per film. In 1970, Marvin left his partner Michelle Triola and moved back home to Woodstock, New York to be with his ailing father who would pass away one year later in 1971. While there, he reacquainted with his one-time girlfriend Pamela Feely and they were married on October 18, 1970. She had four children from a previous marriage, but together they had no children. In 1971, Marvin was sued by his former live-in girlfriend Michelle Triola, who had changed her last name to Marvin. She claimed that Marvin made her pregnant three times and he paid for two abortions and the third pregnancy ended in miscarriage. She claimed that the second abortion left her unable to bear children. This became the landmark palimony case known as Marvin v. Marvin. This case drug on throughout the 70s and in 1979, Marvin was ordered to pay $104,000 to Triola for rehabilitation purposes. In August of 1981, the California court overturned the verdict. Michelle Triola died of lung cancer on October 30, 2009, having been with actor Dick Van Dyke since 1976. In 1975, Lee and Pamela grew tired of all the publicity surrounding the Marvin vs. Marvin case. They moved to Tucson, Arizona, where they lived until his death. Lee was often seen in Tucson driving his old truck and continued to make movies throughout the 70s and the 80s. He did star in a couple notable films in the 1980s, including Death Hunt with Charles Bronson in 1981, which was a Canadian film, and The Delta Force with Chuck Norris in 1986. Delta Force would be the last film that he ever starred in. During his film career, he appeared in more than 70 films. Lee Marvin had spent years being a heavy smoker and drinker. Despite slowing down in his later years, he still had some health problems. In December of 1986, he underwent surgery for inflammation of his colon, and it was removed. He never fully recovered from that surgery. He died of a heart attack on August 29, 1987, at the age of 63. He was buried in Arlington National Cemetery with full military honors. Many people know him as one of the Hollywood greats of his time, but he was also one of Hollywood's heroes. 